return. Refreshed coconut water, stretched out. Didn't actually run any ads because they'd been run too recently, but I don't think that any of you are actually complaining about that part. So, let's find out what dungeon to go to. Now, the game is suggesting that I go to the Warrens, but I really dislike long quests, as I've mentioned over and over and over again. So... I don't know, either the Cove or the Weald, maybe? I know it's got the thing from the stars in it, but what, about, what is this in the Cove? It's another lost and found, so that's another weapon upgrade, probably, for someone? And that rewards in crests, which I am now completely out of. And in a ritual dagger for the air. Accuracy, crit, and extra damage taken, I see. Oh, which, oh, actually I'm reminded. Districts! Uh... I was trying to decide between the Tainted Well and the Miasmal Orchard. And... It's a very tricky choice. But I think I'm going to go for the Orchard first. Uh, simply because I'm still doing so many green quests that I'm hardly using Laudanum. Except when I take certain classes along, like we just saw in the previous dungeon. So I'm going to go for the Miasmal Orchard first, because I use Anti-Venom more often. So, going to build ourselves an or a, a terrible, terrible orchard. Oh, it's, it's definitely... You, you can tell I built that with crystals, can't you? Don't eat the fruit. Just don't eat the fruit there. Bad plan. Now I almost have enough crystals, enough shards, to also get the Tainted Well. Which I think I am definitely going to do. Once I have enough of the shards. Now I could go to the farm. Or I could take this mission in the cove and hope that I run into the thing from the stars again and defeat it for more crystals. It... Uh... But just in case, I'm going to have a look at these two quests over here in the wield. Uh, we have a short mission for exploring rooms that it rewards in portraits and an apple that I already have two of, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, no, I only have one of those, but... Oh right, because I lost the other one with the cataphract. And we have a gather medicines for a caregiver's convention. Tempting. Uh, for busts and a swift cloak. Hmm. Thing from the st chance of a thing from the stars or going for the caregivers convention and maybe getting rid of some nasty quirks. Hmm. Oh dear, difficult choices. Very difficult choices. You know what? Let's take this wield quest for the caregiver's convention. And also, I am looking at my brand new jester here. I think jesters are fairly good in the wield. And this one is a jester who doesn't move himself around, so that's very nice. I will put him in the third slot. And who can we put around this jester? Preferably someone who takes advantage of bleed or who does more bleed. Back to my charts.
let's see. Effect advantage. Hmm. The rescuer takes advantage of bleed? Really? Let's double check that. I, I'm, uh... One of these was a more attacky one. Which one? No, that's a healing one. That's a semi-balanced one. Ah, yes, that's the attacky one. Let's see here. He has a stun chance versus stunned. His, he causes bleed. Oh, he does, this does extra damage versus bleeding. Okay. Let's try having lures here in the second spot. And while we're down here, I had a terrible time with low healing in that last place, so, uh... Let's, uh, let's, let's take something a little heftier along on this one. Let, let's take Omond. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, you're level three. You won't go on a green quest. Because you suck. Alright, we, we will take, uh... Malvalet here instead, despite the fact that she's kind of a little bit stressed. We can just use the gesture to de-stress her. And... Let's see... I could... Let's let... I could take one... I could take... This Hierophant, except he doesn't have... Oh, yes, he does have the marking seal. I could take this Hierophant along as the tanky one because the Hierophants have the marking skill. Yes, I like this plan. We're, we're going to take Gernon here despite the fact that his dodge and speed are concerning at best. Because he's fading. Alright, we'll take Guernon. And we'll adjust the skills. What is this? Extra damage versus marked. Alright, probably want to keep that. Oh, uh, well, you know what? Gonna turn that off in order to turn Holy Branding on. Yeah. And... Okay, he has something that prevents nighttime ambush, and I think, yes, this Vestal also has something. So... That's pretty good. We're taking the dogs out for a walk. Walkies. All right, let's provision up. We will once again, whoops, take along a few less of those and take on a bunch of these and that, some of that. Definitely some of that. And... Whoops! Maybe fewer of those. Where did the keys come from? Alright, all the shovels. All the food. And a pile of torches. And I think that is everything that I'm taking. Yes, this feels good. Let's go adventuring in the wield. 
as I just quickly switch my notebook over to where I have the wheeled stuff written down. Who needs memory when you have notebooks? Right? Right. Of course right. Our land is remote and unneighbored. Every lost resource must be recovered. Okay, this is... I know, it's this whole thing. I keep being asked to remember things, and it's just like, why do I need to remember things if I just write them down? And then I can write down in another place to remember to look at the place where I wrote the other thing down. Oh, good instinct. Look at that. That's a quest item. I'll be taking that. Thank you. I will leave that for the time being. Oh, just as the torch went down, too. How do they know? All right, we'll turn that up a bit. And... Yeah, let's let's get some bleed going here. Sure. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That's a good start. That's an excellent start. And if we can stun the stress deal, yes. Purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. It's not a bad start. Okay. Um. Yeah, I might as well just. Oh. Oh. Oh my. I did not expect that. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I'm definitely not going to complain about that. That went incredibly well. I am going to change the color of this jester because he is blending in with the background something terrible. Let's try this sort of purple. That's much better. Okay. In we go. Oh no. Oh, it's the it's those fungal artillery again. All right, let's uh let's try that tactic again. We'll use the herding tactics and set up the riposte and try to stun one of the artilleries. In radiance, may we find victory. The ground quakes. We'll just get the damage going. It's a pity I don't have anything that sheds marks in this group. That's an ouchie. Alright, um, let's just... Oh, man. Alright. Let's get that... Yeah, that'll, that'll take care of that one. Can take them both out. Let's take them both out. The onslaught. Destroy them all. All right, it's time to actually do some healing. I think. The blood pumps. The Beautiful. Obey. As long as he's marked, I'm gonna keep the he his hit points as high as I can because the these uh. These fungal scratchers do a lot of damage to marked targets, but only if they hit them. That that was that was good. Okay, the jester can't actually hit anything unless he uses unless he uses this one. Which no. 
but what we can do is we can reduce some stress on our Vestal. And... Hmm... Okay, that's a knockback. Oh, I see. Okay. I have not used the rescuers very much. I got the mod class because I could not turn down the dogs, and then I've ended up not using them very much. So. All right, let's uh, let's heal up the jester just because we can. And she promptly catches something. What did you catch? We shall find out. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Okay. Go for the artillery. Uh, can't actually hit anything, so let's use the stress relief on the Vestal again. Sure, let's... there. A momentary abatement. Oh, I should have taken an anti-venom since I gave him a special effect. Ah, I feel foolish. Hmm... Oh, his mark does not reach the back row. That is, that is an oversight. Alright, I will hit a corpse. All right, she gets an anti-venom. And party heal? Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay, still working out exactly how to use this, but it seems reasonable. Oh boy. Oh. These things are so variable. Um, let's see. That is a troubling effigy. Where are you in my notebook? Random positive quirk. Okay, who has the least positive quirks? You have two. Oh, and I should check the disease on the Vesta while I'm at it. You also have two. You have two, and you have four, and hysterical blindness! That's, that's great. That's, that's wonderful. I, I'm glad it's on the Vestal, honestly. All right, um... I choose, I choose the Hierophant, because the Vestal already has as much, and out of the ones that I have here, I use the Hierophant more often than the other two. So, holy water in there. He has become thick-blooded. He has blight resist. That's pretty good. I like that. All right. Nature herself. Clear this out. Corruption. Malformed with Continuing. And what's in here? A chest! And ectoplasms. Great. Uh... Oh! Oh no! Well, that was awful. The match is struck. But at least we stunned one of the acolytes. Bleeding for everyone! Of course, I have one person with repost, but does anyone attack that one person? Oh wait, there we go! Good dog! Oh, very 
pretty good dog. Alright, it's just our stress dealers now, so I have... So I can get some healing done. Uh... Hmm. Can he use it on himself? He can! Reduces thou stress. Okay, you into the back line. And then... healing. Uh... Take out a corpse. Oh my goodness, thank you for dodging. Alright. Um... Yeah, you know what? Makes it a little rough for the hero fant, but... As victories mount... Okay, okay, I can I can make this party work. I can definitely make this party work. Okay, put a key in there. Ooh, rubies. Oh, and now it's get oh, oh, secret door. And I have to go pack that way anyway, you say? That is terribly lucky. All right, stuff another key in there. A fortune. Very nice. Look at that. Three of them. I'm definitely pleased with that. Alright, bit of food, a bit of looting. Finding the stuff is only the first test. More rubies. Now it must be carried home. And back to the first room. Now I'll turn the torch up and we'll go downward. And it's the collector. What is with this dungeon? Okay, alright, what what is the best way to deal with this one? Well, I guess it's this. And he promptly crits. Um I doubt I can stun him, but this will turn up the tor- Oh, he did get stunned! Oh my goodness. Jester can't actually do anything in this situation, though. But you know what? He can- He can buff the party. Yes. And... Oh, I see you, Ark. Thank you very much for stopping by, Ark. It was very nice to see you again and converse with you. I hope things are going well at school. Sleep well. It's nearly the weekend. Okay, Jester. Jester still can't actually help. Except this way, because he can just keep stacking this on. Yeah! Buffs! Buffs for everyone! The blood quickens. And damage is gonna be done, so let's get let's get the uh, jester up to full. There we go. Oh man, I I don't like this at all. Um 
All right, I'm gonna use herding tactics to set up the repost. And attempt to beat down the Vestal before she can do too much damage. And... Mm. Alright. Damage. Uh, and stun the... Posing Vestal? Yes. No healing for any of you. Darn it. Okay. Well, I choose to attack the Collector. Oh! Oh, very nice. I apparently spoke too soon when I said no healing for anyone. Okay, alright. Uh... Yeah, healing. Damage. I regret leaving that Vestal alive. Oh, thank you. Okay, maybe I can take out the Vestal before she... Ah, yes, there we go. Before she heals the Collector. <laughs> Just keep it up. Collector does count as a human target, so... You know what? Relieve your own stress. I probably should have given you a band-aid, but I didn't. Uh... Party heal? And he calls more friends. But none of them are Vestals. These only count as Eldritch. That's unfortunate. Okay, um... Oh! Okay. Alright. I'm not gonna complain about that. Nobody gets guarded. All good. I'm not sure what just went off there, but it seemed like it was a good thing. Can I stun or kill? Oh, there we go. All right, Jay. Good night. Sleep well. It's almost the weekend. I'm sure you can make it. Alright, now what? Um, um, you know what? Why not? Battle ballad for everyone. Oh man, another Vestal. Just keep... Okay! Alright, life is good. Leave some more stress. Um... Yeah, 
I sure? Some party healing? Oh, lucky dodge. I don't appreciate this happening all before the collector gets his turn. That was awful. Look at that. A dizzying fall. I got another head. I'm going to give that to the Jester, just because the Jester has a stress heal that he can use on himself. We'll give you a band-aid. We'll put everybody back in the correct order. We'll give you a little food. Just a little. And continue on our way. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. I hope I haven't got the lamplight too low. Oh, apparently I have it just right. Curio, curio. Room battle. I see. Okay. You know what? You do some looting for a bit. That's a lot of barrels! That's a lot of barrels. Oh, I see. Barrels only stack to two, do they? And medicines only stack to 12? Medicinal herbs only stack to 12? Dang. Well, okay. A map! Does it say where the other quest locations are? Let's see. Curio, battle, curio... Curio. Oh. That's disappointing. So the rest are up there somewhere, I guess. Oh well. To battle! Okay, this tactic has been working well so far, so let's try it again. Set up repost. We'll stun the one in the back, I guess. Works for me. And that one goes and summons more. Well, it was a single rather than a double wide, so I'm gonna... It's all singles, so... I'm gonna try not to complain too much about that. Executed with impunity. Uh, you know what? Why not? Of course. All right, let's get. Hopefully. Oh, dang! Jester is clean enough. Uh, let's try stunning the one that hasn't gone yet. Oh no! Wait, it's dead. <laughs> Never mind. That one's gonna bleed to death. So, oh, oh my! I see. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, little stress healing. <laughs> A very little stress healing. Uh, sure, let's let's use motivational hypnosis on yeah you. It does not matter. Um, you're the only one missing HP, so. <laughs> Death by inches. 
these nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. This is looking pretty good. This is looking all right. I need to zoom in a bit so I can actually see what's happening. There we go. I have no idea who my traps person is. Let's find out. 70%, 60%, 70%, 70%. All right, you're the most stressed, so you get to do it. Congratulations. Now that's the kind of stress that I like to see in my party. You. Okay, off to a room battle. Yuck. Okay. It's been working, why break it? And stun her, given that my druthers. And excellent. Another abomination cleansed from our land. I'm not sure what the Hierophant has against echo ectoplasms, but I'm really not complaining about these one-hit kills. It's just the stress ladies now. Let's see. Yeah, this one. Oop, no, she dodged. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Um sure, let's try stunning her. Wahahaha. And actually, you know, give yourself some stress healing. Because I'm really liking this whole, you know, clear bars, clear stress bars thing that's going on. Now let's try this. And then when I do this, it has a 100% chance of bleed. She is not feeling well now. And you know what? Because I can. This is a good party. This this party's been doing really well in here. All right, we have found move resist at the cost of speed. And you know they keep they keep targeting the vestal, so I'm actually going to have her carry that, even though it makes her slow. But the question is, what do I trade in for these deeds? Uh, the citrine. I'm going to trade in the citrine for the deeds. Everybody get back in order. Alright, we've zoomed all the way out again. There we go. Continuing. Oh, spiders. Joy. Well, it ain't been broke. Oh, dang. Well, that's one spider down, two to go. Uh, let's stun the one that's not going to bleed to death. And... Be gone, fiend. Well, that's the end of that battle. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. This has really been going obscenely well. I really do wonder where the other shoe is. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna trade in the jade for the crests because I am- I need crests actually, I'm kind of incredibly low on them. Which is a weird thing to say in this game. Okay, continuing onwards. Check the box. Heal up. Uh, yeah, hit the torch. Um, well, only one way to go, so I'll go. I'll take that. If only treasure could stop. We'll the burn flow. it immediately. Otherworldly corruption. A whole pack of dogs and a madman. Great. Terrific. All right, let's. Oh no, they dodged. Because they're dogs. The main problem here is my inability to directly hit the back row. Mmm, juicy repost. Um, I'm not sure. But you know, she can hit the mad man. Oh yes, do keep attacking the one with repost. Alright, that one... Okay, oh, no, it dodged. Apparently the madman gets one more turn. Oh, and he gives horror. He gives horror to my hero fant. Okay, um Hmm. Yeah, let's just do one of these. Of course he dodges. And my hero fan has caught rabies now. That's that's great. Gently. This is how a life is taken. I'm just utterly charmed by everything that just happened there. That was just bad luck. Okay. Well, now the Hierophant is not going to hit as often, but when he does hit, it's going to be like a truck driving a truck. You don't need a band-aid. Stop complaining. Okay, do I even need to go up the stub? That's a curio and an empty room. Okay. Alright, I will go to this empty room and camp there. Take that. Take that. And there's still one more. Uh, stuff some medicinal herbs in there. Packs laden with loot. Excellent. Often low on supplies. No, I'm doing pretty good on supplies at the moment. Thank you. Don't tell me what to do, Ancestor. This is all your fault anyway. All right, and we will camp out here. It's a goal without hope. We'll have a nice feast. And let's see here. 
self uh, take away 25 stress and prevent nighttime ambush. That is perfect. So one zealous vigil for everyone. Perfect. Okay, what do we got in the way of buffs for people? Let's see. All companions, minus 15 stress, minus 15 stress for four battles. One companion, minus 30 stress. One companion gets minus 15% stress for four battles. Let's see here. Party gets armor piercing and bleed chance and death blow resist. Ooh, that may well be worth the five points. Uh, self only. Self only healing skills. Party gets dodge. And what do you have that you haven't used? One companion gets stress relief. One companion, one companion. Okay. I'm going with this one because I can little sparring practice for everyone. I love this whole dog sleeping. The the dogs, one dog sleeping, the other one is like, what's going on over there behind the hero fant? And it's, it's wonderful. I'm loving this. Okay, so protection. Uh, less stress. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do the the uh, the party with the protectiveness. Let's do that. Excellent. All right. We definitely didn't do much in the way of damage buffs or anything, but. Uh, the party's feeling good right now. And there has been a lot of money in this run, oh my goodness. Alright, three more rooms and one more medicine. Let's find out where it is. More torch? I will certainly take that, sure. Worth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. And a trap that gets hit. Okay. We'll give him an anti-venom. We'll turn up the light a little bit too soon and head into this room. Oh boy, artillery again? I don't like the fungal artillery. I especially don't like to see them with the scratchers. Let's get that damage going in the middle that I can do. Um, you know what? I choose to stun the scratcher. Can I whomp the dog? I can! Good repost. Excellent repost. Everything's bleeding now. It's beautiful. Admittedly, he's blighted, but, you know, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's uh, see if we can't get this uh, scratcher out. Because I think the jester can. Oh yeah. Uh, sure. Let's. Uh... That works for me. That works for everyone. Annihilate. Oh yeah. 
Rabies really makes the person who has it hit so hard. Yes, I'll, I'll leave the citrine behind because the gold has the chance of stacking higher. And we, what do we have here? We have a pristine fountain. And the pristine fountain is a stress heal, which nobody actually really needs. But I guess we might as well, uh, yeah, the Hierophant can have that. He's feeling good. This place isn't scary at all. On to the next room. Bandits, of course. Oh, what a pity. Well, that uh, that makes up for the <laughs> that makes up for the rescuer not getting any bleed going. Uh, let's see. You. Ooh, boy. Oh, that was a hefty hit. Okay, he's bleeding for two. He's got three HP. That's very unfortunate. Let's just... Yeah. I should have given the Jester a Band-Aid. I wish I'd given the Jester a Band-Aid. All right, healing for the jester. Oh, good timing for a crit. Uh, which one has more HP? You have three, you have two, you. Decimated. Okay, all right. I definitely cannot complain about this party composition. They're doing really well with each other. They're just getting along much better than I thought they would. All right, what do we have here? We have another torch. Where is that last satchel? Not here. There are very few possibilities left. Sure, let's let's stuff a key into that luggage. Skeleton keys, they'll open anything. Oh. That was a nasty trap. Keeping an eye on the light. Keeping it nice and high because I have so many torches, why not? All right, last room. It must be in here by process of elimination. There it is. Beautiful. Back to town. These tonics and herbs will stave off infection and neutralize contagion. That went much better than I expected it to, given that the jester only had one attack. Alright. Our Hierophant has become an Eldritch Slayer, which is really excellent, and I might look into locking that in, and has developed Dementia, uh, which means that they don't get XP until it's healed. Oh no, okay, well, that's, that's something that will need to be fixed, but... All right, the Jester is off guard, which means he's slow on the first round and has become a quick draw, which makes him fast on the first round. So plus four, my, okay, he cancels himself out. He has ended up even, except for that dodge on the first round. Interesting. 
And the Vestal has developed a natural eye, which means she has accuracy with range skills, which is good because those are the only attack skills on her that I use. Thank you very much for the follow there, Phantom Tornado. Welcome! Uh, but she's also started to get migraines. Oh, which give her less stun resist. That's, that's very unfortunate. Alright, back to town. I mean, I feel... Of rare and exotic injuries makes this place perfect for the study of suffering. I feel like my migraines give me uh, less, uh, a, a great deal less stun resist, too, so it makes perfect sense, but wow. Okay. Musketeer of Voisin has engaged in pleasures of the flesh and recovered 110 stress. Lamio Huguenin has meditated and recovered 70 stress. Crusader Margus has meditated and recovered 91 stress and is no longer paranoid. Yay! And Shioshis underwent effective disease treatment and no longer has the shivers, but she's still um, kind of refracted, so she's going to have to go for stress relief this week. The treatment ward is free because of the Caregiver's Convention. And the Vestal, Malva, that I took on that quest has leveled up to level 3. And Margus the Jester is now level 1. I am back to having no level 0s in the roster. Yay! Alright, and we will unequip all trinkets because I'm pretty sure the Jester had one. And we'll give that a sort. And we are going to the Sanitarium. Now, Gerdan here uh, managed to catch both rabies and dementia, but I'm not actually going to do anything about that. <laughs> oh, welcome to the to the channel, some Scottish man. And yes, it is the original Darkest Dungeon because I don't own Darkest Dungeon two, <laughs> and from what I've seen of it, I might ne I might never own Darkest Dungeon two. But I really enjoy this one, especially with the mods. But yes, I really want to lock in the Eldritch Slayer on this Hierophant because that is going to make him an unstoppable monster. So we're going to send him to the Treatment Ward and lock Eldritch Slayer. Now the question is... What about everybody else? I should probably take this opportunity to clean off some quirks on people. Some bad ones, supposedly. So let, us, let me look at my very small handful of level sixes because it is the most expensive to get stuff off of them. Well, Seuss here has Night Blindness, uh, which is not as much of an issue for me. <laughs> uh, this Calmness, though, I think it may have to go. But let's look at the other level 6s and see if they have anything worse. Like, Gry here... Oh well, we don't have to worry about Gry. Not even Gry is worrying about Gry. What about you, Lors? Do you want to have your deviant tastes removed? You probably don't care. I don't think you care. <laughs> Admittedly, we could also do something about the slow reflexes or the thin-bloodedness, but... Uh, it's really the locked-in traits that are the most expensive to get rid of. So they're the ones that I'm looking at first. Like, it doesn't really matter on the Vestal if she has less damage if her HP is low, because if her HP is low, she's just healing. She's healing. That is what she's doing. So... Okay, let's look at the level 5s while I'm down here. 
Uh, Tally has locked in being a flagellant and her lazy eye. I might do something about the lazy eye, come to think of it. It might be a good thing to do. Mm. And Somneri here is bloodthirsty, which I don't care much about, and has flawed release, which is crit rather than accuracy, so eh. These decisions are hard. I have two more slots left. It would be nice to use them for something good. Uh, what about you, Joubert? Oh, we should definitely clean off that nervousness, Joubert. That is, that is a bad trait you have. Where are you on my list? Where are you on my list? Why is my list so long? Oh, my roster, it's so big. Well, Joubert is on here somewhere. There, there's Joubert. We're going to take care of your nervousness, Joubert. The nervousness is going away. Uh, nightmare patient is also a problem. But to me, if I'm going to have something cleaned off for free, I'd rather have the nervousness cleaned off than the nightmare patient. Because I'm strange that way. Stress is, stress is bad. Stress is very, very bad. All right, we'll cross nervous off of Joubert's locked in list because I do in fact keep a list of all this. All right, what about you, Aubert? Bad gambler, diurnal, uh, and an unquiet mind. Okay, I don't care. You're fine. Stop telling me you're, you're, you're messed up inside. Uh, let's see. What about you, Mai? Hmm, perhaps we should... <laughs> I have 92 people in my roster. There's a, there's a few pages to go through. I only keep a list of locked in traits though, so it's a, it's a little more controllable that way. I have I have several many pages to go through because it's on paper. <laughs> Uh, should I clean off her tuckered outness? Is the tuckered outness as bad as the, the low damage in the first round that Seuss has? You know what we're gonna we're going to remove Seuss's calmness. His calmness is going to farewell. Goodbye, calmness. Now, for the diseases. Back down. I should have taken care of this while I was down in the Vestals, but, you know, organization. And actually, I should find Seuss's on the list as well. He's been calm for a really long time, though, so I think he's somewhere near the beginning. Uh, let's see... Where are you, Seusses? You're not on the first page, congratulations. Uh, where is my flagellant? I know you're on the list. I know you're on the list somewhere, Seusses. There you are. All right, we will cross off calm. And in the meantime, uh, Malvalet here has many problems. Uh, I think we're going to go for the migraines first. And let's see. I'm leaving Higginin's disease because it gives her extra HP. Uh, milkmaids can't be cured, so they're staying the same. I think my one other diseased person is getting his uh, eldritchness locked in. 
So the medical ward is going to be pretty empty this week. Uh, it's not an entirely beneficial disease, but it's a partially beneficial disease. Here, I'll, I'll scroll back down to her. Whee! She has gray rot, which gives her plus 20% HP, which is awesome, while reducing her accuracy and damage. Which would not be good if I actually used my Lamias for attacking. But I mainly use the Lamias for their healing and for their ability to cure horror. Especially for their ability to cure horror, which is amazing. So the fact that she has less accuracy and damage is not really so much of a problem because I pretty much never use her to attack. So I'd rather, I'd rather keep the 20% extra HP, honestly. So, that's it for the sanitarium for this week. And let's get back up here to the buried. Do you have any place... Ah, uh, yes. You will only gamble for stress relief, and man, do you need it. Please don't lose any of my trinkets. Alright. Can I... No, I can't! I... Well, I could. Hmm. Okay, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to trade in some deeds to get just a few more crests so that I can do that. It's still expensive, but at least it will relieve some more stress. And looking at my cash supply, I can afford this. So, she will gamble and she will stop being refracted. Alright, now that we've taken care of all that, what's going on with the stagecoach? Oh my goodness, I have a level 3. Alright, that's the... Uh... I think the butchers yeah there's the butchers looking at the cash supply yeah possibly but at the moment i'm sitting on two hundred and four thousand gold so it's going to take quite a bit to work that down to the point where i'm not going to be relieving the stress of people who have uh lost their minds a little bit That's the joy of districts. I have in my districts, I, uh, whoop, it went all the way to the back again. All right, in the districts here, I unlocked the bank early on, which means that whenever I leave gold behind in town, I come home to more gold. So uh, life has been pretty good since I unlocked the bank. Now, where was I? I was looking at this level 3 butcher, who is unerring, Ooh. a ruins tactician, which is so-so because a lot of their damage, like, the main damage here is bleed? That's kind of iffy. Although it's mostly they take advantage of stunned and marked, so eh, it can work. And a cove scrounger. <laughs> Ah, fair enough, but uh, let's see, what's his negative? He's obsessed with self-worship. He has claustrophobia. Oh, that's fun. And he's marked by the flock, which I'm okay with. Let's compare him to the level one here, who is hot to trot and a ruins adventurer with slow reflexes. And I think he's better. I, I think he's definitely better than the level 1, just by being a level 3. And also, I don't actually consider Marked by the Flock to be as bad of a, uh, a bad quirk. It just changes the enemies to ones that if you defeat them, you get lots of extra money. So I think I'm going to send Tang Sok here away.
so that I can bring in Ailis here. So, farewell, Tang Sok. Goodbye, farewell. The task ahead is terrible, and weakness cannot be tolerated. And welcome, Ailis. All right, what else have we got? We've we've got two level zeros and a level two leper, and I think I might only have one leper, so that's uh, intriguing to me. But we're gonna have to go past the highwaymen to get there, so let's have a look at this person whose name I'm not going to attempt. Who has a healer's gift, which is useless because highwaymen has no healing skills. And a fear of beasts. You are going back to wherever you came from, sir. And moving on up. No, I do actually have two lepers. Okay, I, I misremembered. But let's have a look at this one. This one is gifted. Gets extra healing. That is very good. Has minus 20% stress if the torch is above 75, which is generally where I keep the sucker. And... Well, that's, that's iffy. I don't actually think... I don't think the leper actually cures anything. No, the leper has no cures, so that that one's kind of a that one's a bit of a weak one because basically for the leper it's just a bleed, a little tiny bit of bleed and blight resist extra. As a trade-off, he touches things and he has less match XP. That mm. That's not terrible stuff. I don't love it, but it's not terrible. But let's let's compare him to the ones that we have. Like Briaz here is also gifted and also has photomania and is a warrior of light. Has pressure to succeed, which is kind of uh is calm, is curious, so he also touches everything and has less speed and less dodge. Okay, so they're very- the two are very similar to each other, except that Briaus here has more negatives. And Louvet is a clutch hitter, who is steady, will only drink in town, gets stressed out in the cove, and obsessed with the paranormal, which means he will touch a bunch of things, but not everything. <laughs> Hmm. I th I'm kind of inclined. I'm kind of inclined to send one of my two lepers away to bring in this new one, but I'm not sure which one. I think maybe I will send away Louvet. I think I will send away Louvet that I'm looking at here. And I'm just making a note. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, Clutch Hitter is nice. But honestly, I, I like the positive quirks on the new one better. So I think I am going to send Louvet here away. Farewell. Another soul battered and and we will bring in... Cast aside like a spent torch. I, almo I almost read that as mucus. Um, Musident. We will bring in Musident. This man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same. All right, and then we have this level zero crusader, which I already have three crusaders. I don't know that I need a fourth one. This one only has quick reflexes and uh, prone to touching things. Nah. So uh, a crusader and a highwayman arrived together. What a shock. They're also leaving together. All 
right. I am going to make the time, I think, to run one more thing, but I think I may choose a short quest because I am running up against my time limit and I do need to get to bed at a decent hour tonight. I have things I'm supposed to do tomorrow. All right. Alas, poor leper, he has left us. Now, the game is recommending this short mission in the cove for busts and a salamander-only trinket for accuracy and at the cost of bleed resist. Interesting. Okay, and what is this short mission in the Warrens? That's for crests and a highwayman only stalwart buck. I think I might already have one of those. Do I already have one of those? If I were the highwayman trinkets, where the heck would I be? Yep, I already have one of those. We're going to the cove. All right. Room battles in the cove. Who do I take with me? Who's coming to the cove? As long as I'm up here, I might as well choose a tank. I kind of feel like I want to take the man-at-arms. I have not taken out the man-at-arms in ages. Um, well, he gets less healing from the occultist, so we just won't bring an occultist. I worry about that stun resist problem, but uh Yeah, let's let's take Vernon here. And who what who or what else have I not taken out in a while? Yeah, somebody who can deal with jellyfish. That's definitely something that we want to do. take Loppy's lover with us. She's not here tonight, so she doesn't know we're putting her lover in danger. But yeah, she's got Iron Swan, so if we put her in the front row with the man-at-arms behind her... Oh, uh, Loppy's Lover here. Uh, the name comes from another one of my view, one of my viewers, one of my subscribers. Uh, if you look in my channel points rewards, you'll see that there is one turned on that you can actually change the name of a character. And uh, someone who is not Loppy actually paid to have this Hellion's name changed to Loppy's Lover. Uh, that's why some of the names are default type names, and some of the names are a little weirder. Like if I scroll down uh, to my berries here, you'll notice I have this uh, this one, which is... <laughs> Social justice here is not a name that the game is going to give you. <laughs> that sort of thing. But uh, the, the viewer, Loppy, she is, she is not here this evening. She, is, she has not been speaking this evening, so we're going to take her lover out so that she doesn't know that I've gone and put her lover in danger. That's what we're doing. Now, let's see. Who shall I put in the third slot? Thank you very much for the follow, some Scottish man. Much appreciated. Hellion, a two man-at-arms, one bounty hunter, three... Oh, so you're, you're using, uh, yeah, normally I would put the Hellion at two as well, but since this one has Iron Swan, which is only usable from the front row, and because the stress dealers that I like to deal with first are almost always in the back, I'm just starting her as, as the front row. But yeah, possibly a bounty hunter on three.
they can be handy. Let's see. Oh yes, there is the lunge that moves her forward, but then I can only then I use Iron Swan on turn two, and that means that the stress dealer in the back has gotten at least one move, maybe two. I like to be proactive, you see. And this bounty hunter does not actually have the chain hook. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Actually, what if what if I took a soothsayer? Maybe not this one. I can't win. <laughs> Wait a minute. This guy gets less healing from weird reconstruction. This one gets more healing from Weird Reconstruction. This one gets less healing from Vestals. Um... Wait, wait, wait. I have not taken my Plague Doctors out in ages. Let's take a Plague Doctor. In fact, let's take Dr. Ark since he's gone to bed. <laughs> Another one of my regular viewers who actually has this uh, Plague Doctor named after them. But yes, let's, uh, let's hurl some plague. Let's, let's take the doctor with us. Actually, do you want to be in the last most one or do you want to be... Yeah, you're you're fine there. You're you're happy. Now, who to take for healing? Let let's take our lowest level Vestal. Let's take Bretuil here. And she actually let's let's trade the doctor and Bretuil. There we go. All right. Let's get going. This is a short one, so we'll only take a few things. Of course, we're going to continue taking all the shovels because that's what I do. We'll take all the food as well because paranoia is me. I feel like I've missed something. I have band-aids, I have anti-venom, I have medicinal herbs, not for smoking. Uh, I just realized this is the first time tonight I'm going out with completely uh, vanilla, vanilla characters. There is no mod class in this party. <gasps> Keys, holy water. I, I need torches, but it's just... I've been doing longer missions so much, it's just... But wait, I'm not using up enough slots here. But yeah, let's go. Time to murder all the things. But yeah, I, I actually can't remember the last time I took Dr. Out, Dr. Ark out for a run, so... Yes, fish fillet time! These salt soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. Huh. It's almost a straightforward one. It feels so small after all the ones I've been doing this evening. <laughs> and look at that, I've got mostly the same color scheme going on for this party. I'm so organized. Uh, sure. Let's, uh...
See, and, you know, can't use Iron Swan here, because, yeah. But, yeah. Oh! Loppy's lover did not like the thrall. She did not like the thrall at all. All right, one noxious blast for your butt. And it dodges. Of course it dodges. I knew things were going too well. No, don't stress out my Vestal. Slowly. Get what you deserve! Okay, some more plague for everyone. Bit of healing. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And we'll put some medicinal herbs in there. Some reward for a task well performed. That's a lot of stuff. This, this is an anti-fish party. This is this is an anti-fish party. Oh, a brackish tide pool. Right, was that that was stress healing again. I hate not having a memory. Memory is so useful for things. I don't know that I even really need to use this if it's just some, a, uh... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, that, that's an HP or stress heal. I'm, I'm not going to bother using anything in this. I don't need it. Moving along down the road. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Ooh, I see a fountain. I, I see an eldritch altar or whatever that is. I see fun. Okay, much as I would love to use the uh, illumination, I'm going to heal. Momentary abatement. Woohoo! All right, let's bump the thrall. Heck, let's plague the thrall. You have a thrall explode on you once or twice, and you just never want it to happen again. All right, and then Iron Swan, it's useless again. So, oh, he dodged. I did this for the sake of, of Iron Swan, and I've not gotten to use it yet. Okay, yeah, sure, healing. Uh, eeny, meeny, you. That's just not fair. Stop resisting! I demand that you cease and desist with the resisting. Okay, that that was beyond the pale. That that Get yourself out of my face. It took me, like, nearly three turns to get that much damage onto that thing. And then you go and heal it all? Even my Vestal can't do that. Look at that. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Continuing onwards with the beatings continue until morale improves. They are really interested in the man-at-arms today, aren't they? Healing, all the healing, healing. The man-at-arms just sucks up all the healing. Uh, let 
let's see. Yeah, more plague. Ouch. All right. Okay, I, I don't have to worry about him anymore. On to him. Okay, people are feeling that fight a little bit, but we came through it. We came through it. Now we have an Eldritch Altar here. And... That is a buff of some sort, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, that's a purge! That's a purge of a negative quirk! Okay. Who is in a bad place? Uh, well, you might be. What about you? Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. This is a difficult one. I mean... Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have the, the man-at-arms attempt it. We're, we're gonna have the man-at-arms attempt it. Oh, he is no longer susceptible to stun! That is beautiful! That is also probably on the list because I'm pretty sure that was a locked-in one. Where is my man-at-arms, Vernon? Where are you on the list? Dude, where are you on the list? I know you must be on the list. Uh, there he is. And yes, it was a locked-in trait that I just had healed for the cost of a holy water. There we go. All right. Feeling good, moving on to the next room. And it's another brackish tide pool. This time I am going to use it because the Vestal's kind of stressed. So we'll put an anti-venom in there and she'll get a bit of a stress heal. And we'll keep moving. Good thing she got the stress heal after she just stepped into that trap and just got back so much more stress than she healed. Alright, and medicinal herbs in there. Extra food? Sure. You too can have some food as a treat. Vestal does not like this place. Vestal is not having fun. I can't imagine why. Isn't this the most fun place in the world where we are right now? Okay. Let's get... Ooh! Good crit. Okay. I think I'm gonna go for a party heal on this one. Even people out. Some plague off- oh, they dodged. And now, Iron Swan for you! Oh, beautiful! Oh, look at that! He's gone! He's gone! She pays a bit in damage, but man, that was- that- that is exactly why I brought the one with Iron Swan along. Okay, let us get some plague going on you. And we'll start chipping away at this guy in front. Until, yeah, we don't have to worry about him anymore. And some healing for you. Nice crit. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving.
come to think of it, this guy has retribution. Let's let's set up some retribution. Mmm, juicy. Alright, and some plague for the one that's already injured, yes. And I don't have to worry about it anymore, so let's start hitting this one. Some more healing. Sedated. Just keep rotating. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Man, why don't I take my plague doctors out more often? That was it? Continue the adventure. I want to know what's in that box. All right, put a key in there. Hacks laden with loot. Oh, that's a Are lot of stuff. Supplies. So there's like four more rooms and they have nothing in them. Um You know what? I'm going to I'm going to take a wander. I'm going to see what's in these corridors. Maybe there's an eerie coral in here somewhere. Or that could happen. That could also happen. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give you some some plague. And she's gonna dodge entirely. And healing. My Vestals never get to be anything but heal bots. Okay, good resistances. A faint hope blossoms. Stress lady who eats my torch is now forward. I don't want the I don't want the man at arms marking himself while the brawler is still alive. They do extra damage to marked people, so I'm gonna leave that skill alone even though Have some plague. Uh, healing. Let's see. Yeah, plague for you. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. I'm working on it, ancestor. Well, now I can do whatever I want. I want to hit him. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Oh, what have we here? A rescuer only trinket, which that's very complicated. Okay, extra healing. Minus 50% bleed duration. Extra stun resist, less debuff resist, less move resist. On friendly skill, buff yourself? That's very complicated, that trinket. No, we shall not collect ourselves. We're going to collect loot. Like that. And we're going to feed that food to people who are low on HP, and we're going to keep wandering. Ah, that's what I was hoping for. Eerie Coral. Somebody else is getting cleansed. I am remembering that correctly, right? Eerie Coral. Purge a negative quirk. All right. That, uh, hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go for the Vestal this time. And she's no longer a stress eater! Ha ha!
which is good because I haven't actually had a hunger check yet and her stress is above 50, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Oh look, a scout! Okay, so if I go across here and then down there, I will be doing pretty good, actually, at avoiding all traps. Yep, there's the hunger check. Ooh, oh, hmm. This could go either way. Who has the least stuff going on in general? Who has the least stuff? Hilariously, that is the Vestal. Oh boy, let's find out, folks. And she has become a lurker, which is useless to me! She gets extra damage if the torch is low! On a Vestal! <laughs> All right, and downward. Yes, I am letting the torch get really low. Why do you mention that? Empty, all right. Oh, the noises, the background noises are getting real funky. All right, we have one more box. Yes, I am letting the torch get low for a higher chance at loot, but that is probably gonna come back to bite me when it comes to this trap up here, but we'll find out. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. I'm not gonna bother doing that combat, I'm just gonna check that curio. But let's see, 80, 70, 60, 80. Uh, let's see, 18 versus 2, you! Congratulations! Just try. She did it! Oh, Loppy would be so proud if she were here. All right. And the box. Wealth beyond measure. Nice. Awarded to the All right. And the foolhardy alike. Time to head home. At last, wholesome marine life can flourish. If indeed there is such a thing. <laughs> All right, that's a fairly good haul. Nope, I have had another week in which nobody has died, although it came really close at the beginning, I'll tell you that. All right, Loppy's lover has caught tetanus for reasons, and that will definitely have to be cured. Vernon has developed a slow draw. Mm unfortunate but dealable with and is a weapon tinkerer nice and Brituil has developed an obsession with material things and has become a beast hater too many fish all right back home we go in time you will know the tragic extent of my failings. All right, the buried Tsyoshis has gambled and recovered 69 very nice stress and is no longer shattered. The Vestal Malvet underwent effective disease treatment and no longer has migraines. The flagellant Seuss underwent effective quirk treatment and is no longer calm. He's very worked up now. High heart rate. The cataphract Joubert underwent effective quirk treatment and is no longer nervous. Hierophant Gernon has reinforcement therapy and is now has his Eldritch Slayer locked in and he is going to kill everything. And Dr. Ark has leveled up and is now level three. Okay, now the first thing to do is to uh, take our poor, <laughs> our hero, to take our hierophant back to the sanitarium. 
because Guernan has dementia and rabies, which is a terrible combination because both of them will eat your brain. So we are going to cure definitely the dementia first. A cure for dementia for you. We're going to continue scrolling down. Loppy's lover here. She's going to have her tetanus taken care of. It's a lot of needles. You'll love it. And continuing on downwards to the Vestal. Come on, all the way down to the Vestals so far. And Malvalet here is going to have her hysterical blindness cured. <laughs> It doesn't really matter as much on a Vestal, but my goodness, no. <laughs> Alright, no more hysterical blindness. Alright. She's never going to get stress relief. Okay. And that pretty much takes care of that portion of what's going on. And this is where I'm going to call it a night for the week. I'm going to save looking into the coach for next week. So, this is where I call it a night. For anyone wondering how I got myself into the state that things are in, all of my previous sessions of Darkest Dungeon and also all the other games that I play for Try, for Try Not To Die Thursday as well as the RPGs that I play on Sundays are available on my YouTube channel, which I have just linked in the chat there. Uh, everything is organized nicely into playlists, and so if you are only interested in a particular game, you can find it right there. And I will be returning again on Sunday night, starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be playing Solasta, Crown of the Magister, possibly on my brand new computer, so it may look really pretty if I manage to get everything running and my save files transfer over. Cross your fingers for me. And then I will return again on Wednesday night, starting at as close to 7 p.m. as people can be gathered together into one place to play Among Us with a group of my writer friends. Uh, for those who are curious about Loppy, she frequently plays on Wednesday, Among Us with me on Wednesdays. She's one of the people who plays there, so uh, you'll be able to hear her loud and clear on Wednesdays. And then, next Thursday, starting at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be returning to Darkest Dungeon for Try Not to Die Thursday, attempting to continue the no-death streak that I've had going on for the last couple of weeks. Here's hoping. Tonight has been lots of fun, and I'm glad to see new people come, and some older people were here earlier who I hadn't seen in quite some time, and I was very happy to see them. So, tonight has been really great for me and I hope it was at least as great for you <laughs> and I hope that you have a great night and a great weekend good night